In Numbers 23, you have a story, a continuing story, of the king of Moab, Balak, and the prophet Balaam. In the previous chapter, you, you saw, you read, you heard about the talking donkey and this king hiring this prophet to curse the people of Israel. And instead of cursing them, he blesses them three times. And the story continues. It goes on in chapter 23. And it's all about God loving his people, that the Israelites are chosen people. And this prophet Balaam is still involved with Balak. He still wants him to, to curse them, but he's, he's, he's telling him, well, well, listen to what he says to this king of Moab. He says, how shall I curse whom God has not cursed? And how shall I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? There's this thing about Israel. There's this thing about this nation that God's going to use to bring forth his only begotten son, eventually the Messiah, through the nation of Israel. So God's not going to curse them. God's chosen them and he has a plan for them and he's going to use them. And this king, this Balak, was afraid of the Israelites, that they would conquer his land, that they would take over. So he wants them cursed. But God is sovereign and God is over all things. It's kind of like there's a passage in Proverbs. I, I want to read it to you. It says, there are many plans in a man's heart. And this King Balak had some plans for Israel. But it goes on to say, nevertheless, the Lord's counsel, his will, his plan, that's what will stand. And that's what you find in chapter 23 of Numbers. You got God's plan continuing to stand, not to curse Israel, not to have the king of Moab come against Israel, but God is sovereign and his plan will win in the end. And that's what we see in our world today. There's all kinds of voices, there's all kinds of truths and half truths and crazy truths that are out there, but God's word, God's plan, God is sovereign. And his plan, well, it'll win in the end, just like it won for Israel, it'll win for those who follow him and serve him. God is sovereign. Chapter 23 of the book of Numbers again reaffirms the sovereignty and the wisdom and the plan of God.